Nothing like a dog to make you feel good, right? Canards are very special to their families, but unfortunately, not every dog gets the opportunity to have a home. Sorry, distracted. And that's very true, especially for senior dogs this week. We want to celebrate the old boys as part of Saving Senior Dog Week. Or, or, or girls, too. Yeah. Kitty. Yeah. It's a national campaign that brings awareness to homeless senior dogs. Participating shelters all over the country are helping spread the word about the joys of adopting one. And Muttville here in San Francisco is one of those shelters that's participating. Kristen Hoff is here. Thank you for getting up early with us. And you're with Kitty, right? Yes, I know. Such this a cute... 13 year old dog that I honestly yes. thought was a puppy. I know she's got such a puppy face and she's one of the special dogs who came to us after her guardian could no longer take care of her so we're here to help her out get her some medical care and find her her forever home. What is your biggest challenge when you have a 13 year old dog I mean you're yeah. you know in charge of managing these adoptions yeah. what would you say is the biggest complaint? I would say the age so mm. if people are just so put off by age and it's like age is just a number and you know we're all living longer these dogs are living longer and they're living their best lives so don't look at the age just you know meet the dog and understand their personality and how much that life they have left to give i think that's a good point when you meet dogs and you go to shelters and take a little time to you spend with them because there's some dogs that are maybe better for single people some yes. better for families any recommendation when it comes to a senior dogs on of what course. might be best for mm. them of course yeah so we love pairing our seniors with all, all types of folks. So like I'm a single individual, so I have two dogs who can hang out at home together and they mm. just keep each other company. Um, and then we've got lots of dogs who are good with kids, like Kitty would be perfect mm -hmm. with kids, cats, you know, mm -hmm. and like here we have all sorts of families, you know, who have cats, rabbits, we've had chickens and these seniors are just so chill. And you can see some of our bonded pairs here. <laughs> they're all just they're all just max relax and they, they can just hang out and be a great addition to any family. What we found in our family when you adopt a senior dog and maybe pair it with a younger dog, the younger dog learns the good habits yes. of the senior dog. Yes. And and that's why we've loved our dogs. We had Olive, who was about this size, and she was a gift to our family yeah. for many years. Yep, exactly. Especially like if I'm adopting out to Can a. I hold this oh. <laughs> so here's like I, I, I can't take it I can't anymore. Stand it anymore. Sorry. Sorry, what were you no saying? No problem. If I'm adopting out to I'm a family who already has a dog, it's amazing because that dog can show the new dog, you know, the ropes. But also, a dog who's 13 years old has lived a life and knows knows how to go outside and do their potty. Knows how to be mm -hmm. home alone. You know, there's just so many fabulous things about these seniors. Being the manager in charge of these senior adoptions, yeah. what are you looking for in a family? Because this is such an adorable dog and obviously you yeah. want it to go to a good home, but how do you determine whether or not it is a good home? Great question. So um, oftentimes we have senior citizens themselves who are looking for their next dog and I think like our, me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our seniors are perfect fit for that. Um, but also there's folks like me who have to work eight hours a day in order to mm -hmm. even afford the care for our animals. And I, you know, we work to set up resources like people who can come in and just let their dog out mid middle of the day. So from our working folks all the way up to our seniors who are home all day. And sometimes these dogs just want to be home all day with their seniors. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's perfect. I mean, she just fits right in your arms, yeah. Reed. Yeah. I think Kitty looks very comfortable there. Mm, I got a no on another adoption yesterday. So, maybe oh. watching at home. So, just a little more info for those of you who are looking to add another family member. Adoptions happen every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Muttville. The address is 255 Alabama Street here in San Francisco. But it doesn't stop there. You can adopt at other participating Bay Area shelters like Lily's Legacy in Petaluma or Peace of Mind Dog Rescue at Pacific Grove. I always have to check the back of all of you people oh. at Muttville because I swear you have angel wings yes. back there. Oh. Oh, you have a logo too. We have a logo but I with the dog butt. Wings because I know that you're doing such important work that yeah. teaches us all to be more kind and more gentle. What's oh. It's National I Care About You it Day. It is. It's National I Care About You Day. So. Oh. Yes. Kristen, thank you so much for coming thank in this morning. You. We appreciate it. And Kitty, I think you have found a new I home know. temporarily. Thank you.